Cooking with Gloria. Today, I want to share with you some very delicious crispy tacos. Beef tacos in chipotle adobo that I know you guys are going to love and enjoy. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. vegetable oil or the oil you have at home, queso cacique, sour cream, tortillas, tomato, onion, lettuce, and of course the beef in adobo chipotle sauce that you guys already have that delicious adobo on my channel. So let's get started. I want to start first with the beef. The beef is in this delicious chipotle adobo. It's been marinating for about two days in the refrigerator. I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil on my baking dish so that the meat won't stick to the bottom of the baking dish. I'm going to go ahead and add the pieces of the meat well seasoned, well they have absorbed all those delicious flavors of the adobo. Chipotle adobo. Look at this. I'm adding all those delicious flavors, those juices that they were marinated in for two days. And now they are ready to go in the oven. I have the oven preheated to 375 Fahrenheit. It's going to go in the oven for about one hour and a half until they are four tender. We'll see the meat in a little bit. While that's cooking, I'm getting ready a plate with some napkins, some tortillas, and I have this little gadget. You put the tortilla in the center and you could deep fry it and it'll have those that delicious um, emptiness in the bottom so you could add all your filling inside. Now I am ready. My oil is nice and hot. And now I'm adding one by one, but let me show you how they come out. Look at this. I only have one of these, but you know something? You could add one, two, or three at a time, depending how large is your pan. And they come out crispy and, you know, the inside, it's so, the opening is very large where you could add enough of your ingredients inside i have my lettuce here and i'm going to slice it in very thin slices i have already rinsed very good and now i have my onion that i'm going to dice very thinly and then just pull it apart i'm adding everything to the same plate i have my tomato which i'm going to slice and then dice very small just like that now let me show you i'm gonna add everything here in the same plate i have my queso cacique that i'm gonna be pulling apart and this is everything we need to prepare those delicious shredded tacos i have the lettuce the onion the tomato the sour cream the queso cacique fresh queso cacique and now i'm just waiting for the meat to be ready this is a perfect dish for summer. You marinate your meat, you put it in the oven, and then voila, when the time is over, it's time to bring it out and make those delicious tacos. My family is already waiting for the meat to be done so that we could enjoy these delicious chipotle shredded beef tacos. Look at this, let me show you. They are fork tender, they're very soft, the marinade have really penetrated the meat. But let me show you from close up so that you could see there is enough sauce in there. And look at the meat. It's really fork tender. It's really soft, but yet it's going to be nice and moist. 
and those delicious adobo. This is what I really like, adding everything to one pot, putting it in the oven, and then it's ready, ready to enjoy. I love preparing the meat like this in different kind of adobos, in different sauces, in different marinades, and then just pulling them out of the refrigerator, and you know something? Putting them in the oven. And here I have shredded all the beef in that delicious chipotle adobo, and now I'm ready. Let me tell you, I am ready to prepare these delicious tacos. I have the tortilla here, the taquitos, nice and crispy. And now I'm going to add the delicious shredded beef right in the center. Of course, I'm being very generous and I'm going to add a little bit of the lettuce on the top, a little bit of the sliced red onion, and just a sprinkle of the tomato. This is everything you need. Of course, I'm adding sour cream and I'm adding queso fresco cacique. But let me show you, because you could easily make these tacos at home, enjoy them with your family, like I enjoy them here with my family. This is a very traditional tacos that we make a lot here at home. And look at this, very easy to prepare, but yet they have so much flavor. They come out so delicious. And now I'm adding the sour cream. Look at this. I'm adding the queso and then you know something, I am ready and prepared to enjoy these delicious tacos. I'll see you in a bit. them with cherry strawberry lemonade of course the lemonade you already have it on my channel but let me stop talking and let me enjoy these delicious crispy tacos I wish you were here to taste it with me excuse me mmm they came out they came out amazing but yet they're not spicy at all excuse me The meat in this adobo came out so delicious. The chipotle gave it such a delicious flavor, but yet it's not spicy. I hope my friends you can make and enjoy these delicious tacos at home. And with this delicious lemonade perfection, if you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, Share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives. So Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make a delicious recipe like I did today, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying these delicious, crispy, shredded beef tacos. See you on my next delicious recipe. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye.